Hello again, my friends. I have a special story for you today. But first, you may be wondering about my top hat. Well, many years ago, I went to Epcot, Disney's Epcot, and I went on a ride that was called Imagination, the journey of imagination. And there was a character in there called Dreamfinder, and he just fascinated me because he had a little pal named Figment. Figment is a dragon. And they talked about dreams and our imagination and what magic it creates. So I've always been fascinated by dreams and the possibility of imagination, of what it can create out of nothing. So today, I am sharing you a very special book called Dreams. And I want you to look at the artwork as I read this story to you. I started out just like you. Once long ago, when all the stars were born, I was a baby. My favorite color was yellow the color of the sun that peeked in my window in the mornings. When you're just a baby, you're cuddled in comfort in your own cozy little world. You smile and you gurgle and you fuss and cry and get fed and need changing and sleep and dream. When my legs began to take me places. My favorite color was bright, like rip-roaring red. There's a whole world to explore. Watching bubbles burst in your bath, tasting honey on toast, smelling every single flower in the garden, listening to laughter and thunder, touching your mother's face and your very own toes. As I got bigger, my favorite colors were those of the rainbow. Like the violets are across the sky so real, I could almost reach up and touch it. There's a whole world to imagine. Castles in your backyard, pumpkins transformed into gilded carriages, fairy friends who play with you all day, monsters that crouch in the dark corners of the night wishes you make on stars. When I became a teenager, I liked blue. Everyone likes blue. There's a whole world to figure out. You think about finally growing up. Who are you? What's important? Where are you going? Why are you going there? When's the right time? How does it all fit together? And you think about having a good time along the way. Then I was a grown-up, young and strong. My favorite colors were simple, black and white. It was easy to tell yes from no. There's a whole world to conquer, and you know exactly what you want. To make your own way. To be okay. To belong. To know things. To be you. And to make a mark on the world. Great men and great women, some famous, most not. Great ideas, the impossible, made possible. Great hopes and joys, fears and sorrows, and all the living in between. But as the days became years that spun by, my simple black and white world well, it started to turn gray. 
the cos color of a dismal day. You hear so many voices, no way, they say, you're dreaming. Or to yourself, you say, things weren't supposed to be this way. You get tired or maybe confused or scared. Maybe there's just too much, too big, too long, too hard. All you want to do is hide your head under the covers of your very own bed. It was gray, gray, gray. I didn't like the gray. Then something happened. It will always happen, if you're looking. It might be a smile. It might be a wink. It might be a nod from someone you don't know. It might be a hug. From someone who loves you, it might be a word or an idea carried on from the wind from others, or it might be a little nudge from deep inside you, saying, get up. And then you understand the secret to dreaming. A dream, that is. I was older and strong once again. My favorite color was green. The color of go, the color of grow. I understood that the world at its best is green. Dreams grow like seeds. They need to take root. They stretch towards the sun. They grow slowly. They must be tended to. And sometimes a gray day gives them just the rain they need. There's something else to do. I understand that to grow a dream, you need more than the one I was. You need the believe of childhood, the do of you, and the think of experience. You need all three. There's the wisdom to fill a tooth Simple and not so simple all at once. Believe, do, and think. So, now I am very, very old. My favorite color, yellow, the color of a billion, billion stars, the sparkle in the night sky. I have dreamed a lifetime of dreams. I've reached many of them. Not all, but many. Many also changed along the way. What I have most are fine memories. When you're as old as I am, you still dream dreams, but they're a little different. Mostly they're wishes for those who follow. And all that comes after. Look up, up, and up. In those billion, billion sparkling stars, what dreams do you find? Little dreams? Big dreams? Each a hope looking for life to make it real? A life like yours? A be a dreamer with everything around you, with everything before and after you, with everything that is you. Dream a dream. Your very own dream. What a wonderful story. It tells you to dream, to imagine, but most importantly, to believe in yourself. Many times we get into those gray days where we're wanting to give up. We don't want to get out of bed. But think of green. Think of growth. Think of the extraordinary. Think of yellow. Think of the stars in the sky. It all begins with a dream. Great man said that. Walt Disney. He was a dreamer. He had a great imagination. And so do you. It's the acting upon those dreams and that creativity that make you special. So, hopefully, 
me and Figment have helped you to dream a little today. Good luck and have a wonderful day. Bye, my friends.